Right. Uh, thank you, Dr. Elias. If I may ask the host to make me co-host so I can share the presentation. Okay, SAS host, so we need to ask, uh, we need to ask, uh, we need to ask. Okay. Hello, our co-host. Thank you, Isam. Yes, Dr. Elias, I already give it to Asha, the co-host. Ah, oh, thank, oh, thank you, Fatima. Thank you. you are Fatima. Yeah, thank you, Fatima. Thank okay, you. welcome. Thank you, Fatima. Okay, go, uh, go ahead, Aisha. Okay, um, I'll share my desktop. Okay. So can you see? Yes, we do. Go ahead. Okay, to begin with, thank you, Dr. Elias, for this opportunity. Uh, in light of the International Day of Women and Girls in Science, we are holding this event. Before we start, as we are in Sharjah, I'd like to, we'd like to point out that uh, Her Highness Sheikh Jawahir bin Mohammed Al Qasibi uh, pointed out that she believes that women uh, contribute significantly to all fields, uh, not limited uh, to sciences. And here at the, at the Academy, this is what we do every day. We work from our hearts for Sharjah and for the UAE. I'll begin with myself and then uh, my colleagues will uh, continue. My name is Aisha Abdullah Ruiz. I'm a research assistant at the Meteorite Center at the Academy. I hold a bachelor's degree in uh, computer science from the American University of Sharjah. I am involved in two main projects. The first one is the UAE MMN. However, my colleague Maryam is specialized in that and she'll talk about it. I'm also involved in the second unit, which is uh, machine learning. We use machine learning for two different things, for meteorite recognition and meteorite uh, meteor uh, identification. Meteorites are rocks that come from the outer space. And in order to have a system to tell them how to recognize meteorites, we train them on a data set using a set of codes, as you can see in the very first picture. So then that code is deployed in a small computer here and a camera is attached to it. A drone carries it and scans a given area in a desert and gives us a result like the one you see here uh, of the rock or a meteorite on a sandy background. Now, before going into the other project, which is using machine learning uh, for meteor identification, when I graduated, I didn't think that I would use computer science for astronomy. I just thought maybe networks or things related to hardware. So I'm very grateful for having this opportunity and uh, utilizing machine learning for such a hot topic, which is uh, astronomy and space sciences. Now, going back to the other project, which is meteor identification, the UAE MMN captures a lot of uh, moving objects in the UAE sky, not necessarily meteors. You may know meteors as shooting stars. So, like the other project, we trained the data set on a huge collection of images of meteors and not meteors. Not meteors include satellites, sometimes include uh, airplanes. It also includes uh, insects, moving clouds, basically anything that moves in the UAE sky. That's why we needed to have such a system in order to differentiate between the two. So in short, this, uh, these are the projects I am currently involved in as being a research assistant at uh, SAST. Now, throughout my uh, journey of um, three years at SAST, actually, I, I still have two more months uh, to complete three years, I got the opportunity to work with professional colleagues who became now my family. Uh, we work in uh, teams, and this is, this is wonderful because it adds uh, so much value to an individual. I got to improve my programming skills, enhance my communication skills, um, we're often uh, required to give uh, lectures for the general audience, for students, and we love doing that. Uh, we were also exposed to international researchers as individuals and uh, institutes, institutions. Of course, this reflected back on our research skills. We saw what others are doing, we saw what we can do and how we can complement each other. We also got the opportunity to engage with students and train them, to mentor them, uh, so at, at some point we were students, so now when we mentor students, we know how they feel, 
We know that they are always scared of deadlines. So we try to take things easy with them, especially during the summer internship program. And we make sure that they leave with the new kind of knowledge and information. We also got the opportunities uh, to participate in uh, local and global events such as seminars, workshops, conferences, internships. For example, the first image, which has a clear sky background, that was in Germany, 2019. This was artificial intelligence in astronomy workshop. Uh, the other two pictures are uh, glimpses from my internship at uh, Misasa in Japan. During that internship, I learned a lot about uh, meteorites, how to analyze meteorites uh, using certain instruments. And uh, this was during the beginning of my journey at SAST. And uh, I'm very grateful for having this uh, opportunity. This shows that the leadership at SAST at the University of Sharjah uh, trusts us so much as women and uh, gives us all the opportunities. So this is it for me. And now I leave the floor for my colleague to talk about her um, role at SAST. Thank you, Aisha. Um, hello, everyone. I am Maryam Sharif, a research assistant at the Sharjah Academy for Astronomy, Space Sciences and Technology at the Meteorite Center. I have studied uh, industrial engineering and engineering management at the University of Sharjah. And I'm currently working on one of the Meteorite Center's project, which is the UAE Meteor Monitoring Network. Uh, next slide, please. Yes, thank you. Uh, this is a unique project uh, that aims to monitor the sky, the UAE sky, from any fallen debris or anything that moves in the sky. So uh, this uh, network consists of three towers, as you can see uh, on the right, on the left. Uh, this is the tower. Uh, three identical towers distributed all over the UAE. We have one in Sharjah and one in Al Yahar and the third one in Liwa. And we, what makes uh, this um, network or this system special or unique is the structure. As you can see uh, in the center, uh, we have the structure, uh, the camera structure. Actually, it is um, a circle uh, structure that carries out the cameras that are pointing towards uh, the sky to monitor and to capture uh, the, the, the space debris or the meteors. Um, so from the uh, the from its operation in September 2018, as you can see, we have uh, in the statistics um, from 2018 until last month, January 2021, uh, we have I mean the system have captured over 33,000 uh, 33, meteors including double and triple detections. What we mean by double and triple is that the same meteor uh, have been captured by two or three towers or stations. So uh, my role, uh, you can just go back to the previous slides. Yes. So my role, uh, because this is a huge and a big team project. Uh, so my role is to manage and maintain the system's workability. Uh, to filter the captured files, as my colleague Asha said, that uh, the system captures any movement in the sky. So it could be a bird or an insect or an airplane, as well as satellites and rocket boosters, as I will show you in the coming slides. So uh, as well as to carry out uh, the statistical analysis, as you can see here, to study out the trends and why we have a peak like in certain months and why we don't have in others. And um, uh, as well as we perform different studies, we study out the captured meteors. So, and we study the effect of the, for example, the moonlight effect on our ob meteor observations. And as well as we study out the fireballs and we see if there's a relation between the quantity of fireballs observed over a time. So that's a part of what we do as analysis. And we also do, uh, we analyze the meteors by themselves. So next slide, please. So as you can see here, these are the results of the analysis. Uh, once we analyze these captured meteors, 
uh, we have these four different maps. We have the radiant and the orbit trail and ground map. As you can see, the radiant map shows uh, the radiant point of these captured meteors. So what uh, we can uh, benefit from this is that by knowing the, this particular meteor from which meteor shower it came from, we can know uh, it's uh, the parent body of this particular meteor. So we can define it if it was a part of an asteroid or if it's, it was a part of a comet. And we also do study uh, the orbits of these meteors, as you can see on the top right. Um, and we study, uh, the, I mean, the trail map shows us uh, the trail of these meteors on the star uh, chart. So uh, as you can see uh, on the bottom, bottom left, uh, all of these meteors, they appear that they are out from that certain point. And in the ground map, we can see the trail of the meteor on the ground. So after having this ground map, we can do further uh, uh, calculations to uh, approximate the possible landing location uh, of these particular meteors. Next slide, please. So here we have uh, examples of captured meteors, as you can see. These are the lovely uh, meteors have been captured and fireballs uh, from our network. And in the bottom, uh, we have examples of uh, things that other than meteors, such as satellites and rocket boosters. Uh, on the right, uh, we can see uh, how we can differentiate uh, these satellites from the meteors, because once you see it, you think that it could be a meteor, but it's not. So by this shape, we can say um, that this is a satellite and not uh, a meteor. And uh, the one in the bottom uh, left, we can see these are rocket boosters actually entering the Earth atmosphere. All of these uh, uh, images have been, and videos have been captured by the network itself. So moving on, next slide. So as part of our job is to spread the knowledge and by doing so, we organize uh, several lectures and workshops uh, where we uh, spread out the knowledge and what, what we have as in uh, research outcomes. Also, we engage with and we train students. Uh, we, uh, as well, uh, along with uh, all of this, uh, the academy allows us to participate in local and international uh, conferences, as well as scientific and educational events. And by this, we have gained a lot of knowledge and we have developed our uh, personal skills as well as uh, the work uh, workforce skills. So I would like to thank the Academy for giving us this amazing uh, opportunity and for making us what we are today. And now I will uh, lead you uh, with uh, Selma. You can hear me now? Yes. Yes, okay. Hello, everyone, and thank you, Maryam, for introducing. Um, my name is Salma Subhi. I am a research assistant in the Meteorite Center. Um, I, gra I was graduated from the, uh, from the uh, University of Khartoum. Uh, I have a Bachelor of Science in Geology. Um, and uh, first of all, I'd like to tell something that I like, you know, the geology and Spain since I was young. Uh, so the road, took, the road took me to geology, where I studied there the, uh, the, the astrogeology or the planetary science. So sometimes um, I was on the ground, sometimes I was in the space. Till now, I am in the, <laughs> sometimes I'm in the ground, on the ground, and sometimes I am in the space. Um, see here, I, uh, this is one of the wonderful photos. I should this is one of the wonderful photos. Uh, I like it so much uh, because here it, uh, it is gathering more of the staff and um, our mentor here, Dr. Elias, 
here. Uh, let's go for the next one. Yes, at SAST here, we are doing, mashallah, lots of things uh, like testing and analyzing rocks to differentiate between the uh, terrestrial rocks and extraterrestrial rocks. We are presenting also scientific lectures to the, to the public, to the University of Sharjah staff and to the University of Sharjah students or other students. And also we are presenting, uh, we are participating in workshops and events, writing research papers and scientific articles. We are also supervised, supervising and training the, inter the interns, uh, of course, developing uh, the material, uh, the meteorite uh, analysis unit. This is some of the uh, things we are doing here. So I put photos for some of them. Uh, actually, I had experience for one year in the planetarium. Uh, and then, mashallah, I have experience uh, in the, uh, in the um, research uh, department. Uh, in the research, research department, let me say something very important about the meteorite center. The meteorite center, um, or the meteorite at, at the Sharjah Academy of Astronomy and Space, uh, Space Sciences and Technology is a unique center in the Gulf region, and it is specialized for research and analysis of meteorites. So here we are uh, conducting research uh, and uh, on meteorites and also analyze samples, uh, which we received from uh, national and international customers. Uh, we started, of course, here with the primary test. If we receive any sample, we start with the primary test, uh, testing the sample, like the magnetism, weight, uh, testing its magnetism, weight, density, streak test, fusion crust, appearance. And if the rock passed all these primary tests, then it could be a meteorite. Then we progress our, uh, or our test or our analysis, okay, to uh, something more accurate. So let's go for the... Uh, analyzing rocks by uh, standard techniques and equipment. Okay, that's also to identify uh, the meteorites from the terrestrial rocks. And of course, after that, we collecting data and writing reports. <clears throat> here you can see here, this is uh, the XRF equipment that we use to analyze the rock. Okay, and this is the result of the uh, XRF test or, or analysis, okay. Uh, and also here we, add, we have the XRD. This is another kind of uh, the analysis test. And this is the result here, as you can see down here, the result of the XRD test. Uh, why we are doing this also, all of these, to come up with the elemental composition of the, or, or the mineral composition of the rock. And finally, we found that it is, we'll we will find that it is uh, a meteorite or it's a terrestrial rock. And thank you for all my team, uh, Dr. Elias, my colleagues, Maryam, Aisha, and also to other doctors who are also cooperating with us uh, in the Meteorite Center team, Dr. Uh, Dr. Uh, Prof. Atta, uh, Dr. Also Yasser. Uh, thank you to all of this wonderful team. Uh, it's an amazing team, really. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, thank you, everyone. Uh, my name is Maria Munkasar, and I'm a research assistant at the High Energy Astrophysics Lab with Dr. Antonius. Uh, a bit about myself, uh, is I graduated from the University of Sharjah with a bachelor's in applied physics and from the American University of Sharjah with a master's in mathematics. Um, I'll go to the next slide. Please. So our lab is the High Energy Astrophysics Lab which is concerned with the physics of high energy processes in cosmology. More specifically, we're interested in the high mass X-ray binary system. This system uh, consists of, it's a binary system of a compact object and the companion star, where the matter from the companion star tells us, uh, falls into the matter from the companion star falls into the accretion disk of the compact object, uh, creating an accretion disk and radiating some X-rays. So we're interested in this radiated X-rays uh, and we try to analyze them. Uh, can I go click one? Yes. Uh, so we have some data, observable data from uh, a telescope, an XMM, XMM Newton telescope, where we try to analyze these data to produce some different um, high-level products. 
these high level projects include uh, a light curve and some spectrum. So what is a light curve? A light curves are graphs that show the brightness of an object over a period of time. Oil of spectrum uh, is a chart that tells us the intensity of light emitted uh, over a range of energy, or we can relate it to uh, uh, the wavelength. So since I'm like new here, <laughs> this is what we're currently working on. I didn't have so much to show today, but hopefully with more work, I will be gaining some research skills to take my academic career and to the next level. Thank you. Um, Sana alaikum. Um, my name is Noura. I'm research assistant at SAST. I have a BSc in applied physics uh, from the University of Sharjah. I have uh, worked at the Space Weather and Atmospheric Laboratory once I joined SAST. And uh, currently, I'm working at the High Energy Astrophysics Lab under supervision of uh, Dr. Antonio. Uh, okay, uh, as the first project that I have um, been assigned to work uh, on, that was about the ionosphere of Mars. And I have no idea about uh, what is the ionosphere and what is the atmosphere of Mars. So I like I spent a lot of time just to grasp and to understand and to gain, to gain knowledge about the Mars as a planet itself and about the ionosphere. And uh, alhamdulillah, I got a chance to participate in the international workshop on the GNSS ionosphere that was organized by the Institute of Communication and Navigation, the German Aerospace Center, presenting the results of this work. And as an extension of that uh, project, myself uh, with my colleague Ibrahim from CubeSat Lab, started uh, working on a project uh, by employing machine learning techniques to build a Martian uh, electron density model, which is the, it is like a productive model using artificial neural networks and uh, another technique called the polynomial regression to get the successive model to predict the electron density on Mars. And we are planning, inshallah, to submit this, uh, the abstract of this uh, project to the IAC 2021 this year, inshallah. And uh, since I'm working now at the High Energy Astrophysics Lab, so I will not tell more about this lab because my colleague Maryam all, uh, already uh, talked about it. So it's about like studying one of the X-ray source and we're using uh, data coming from the XMM using the scope and we're analyzing it using uh, like uh, softwares that are uh, like special for uh, doing analysis for this uh, data. So at the end, I would say like being at SAS opened the, like gave us the opportunity to participate in a lot of scientific and educational events. And this like added a lot to our communication skills and the research uh, skills as well. Thank you. Assalamu uh, alaikum everyone. My name is Waif al -Kabi. I work uh, as a research engineer in the Kipat laboratory at SAS. Uh, I did my bachelor's uh, at UAU in mechanical engineering with a minor in mechatronics engineering. Uh, uh, so I have joined SAS back in 2018, and as the CubeSat laboratory was uh, still being established, I have had the chance to attend many specialized uh, workshops and lectures in the fields of astronomy and space sciences. I have had the chance to participate in events across the UAE and to give lectures in my area to audiences and my colleagues. Uh, one of the great opportunities that I had uh, was uh, working uh, in a team for the UAE MESAT uh, challenge, which was uh, under the supervision of Dr. Mubashir. And during that, we have worked uh, on developing the conceptual design for a GNSS CubeSat uh, payload, which was a great start on um, the payloads of CubeSats and what goes uh, into designing them. So this chance and the other opportunities that I had have allowed me to gain hands-on experience uh, in my field and to further develop my skills, my technical skills, and even my communication skills. Um, currently, I'm working on the first CubeSat of SAS, Shaja SAT-1, which is a scientific and educational uh, collaborative uh, project. Such a fat one is uh, 3 U plus CubeSat, which means it's uh, 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 30 centimeters. And the plus part uh, gives us an extra 
3.6 meters in the Z direction, which we need for the collimator that we see in the bottom. Uh, so it holds the main payload of an X-ray detector, which will capture the hard X-ray emissions from the sun and other bright uh, X-ray sources in the universe to investigate them and to study them. And this project as well aims to build the capacities uh, and the necessary facilities for future CubeSat missions, like the UHF PHF ground station that we have outside and we can see in, in the picture on the right. And we have had uh, and the CubeSat uh, team have had the chance to get officially licensed uh, in operating the ground station. And also, uh, we have acquired all the necessary software that we need for modeling, analyzing, uh, validating the designs uh, of small satellites and CubeSat. So this is the summary of what I have done, and I'll leave you now with Asma. Oh, Assalamu alaikum, can you hear me? Okay. Uh, so, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Asma Hamid, and I am currently a research assistant at uh, SAST, or Sharjah Academy for Astronomy. Uh, and I'm basically working right now in the radio lab. So, a little bit about who I am. I graduated from University of Sharjah uh, in 2016, and I hold a BSc in Applied Physics. Uh, after graduation directly, I worked, I joined back in the university and worked as a lab. Uh, lab officer or a lab supervisor. Basically, my tasks were to uh, deal with equipments more, like setting up the experiments, installing, troubleshooting, so on. There was also a part where I worked in the labs where uh, I supervised students while uh, they do their experiments and so on, and assisting the faculty whenever they needed. So basically, I was working in the uh, physics one and physics two lab. Physics one was about uh, kinematics experiments, and physics two was um, electromagnetism, uh, electricity and magnetism. So right now, I in 2018, I joined SAS and I'm still there. And uh, here is a glimpse of what I do. So basically, we do uh, many things, but let me concentrate on the recent or the last two projects that we are working on right now. So uh, the first project is to map the plane of the Milky Way and define its structure. And doing that, we use the five meter radio telescope that we have in the Academy. It is a five meter in diameter, uh, Italian, and uh, works at 1.4 gigahertz, which is the hydrogen line emission uh, frequency. So in this project, we basically, we might be able to get uh, one shot at the Milky Way, but then we, sacrifice the resolution at this rate. So here's what we do. We take small segments of each uh, location at the Milky Way, and then later on, we combine them using uh, softwares like uh, FitzViewer, NASA FitzViewer, or sometimes Python, whenever the data is uh, a little bit uh, larger. Okay, so uh, the difficult part about here is like being a scientist, you need to deal with large tables or numbers and uh, processing them with the computational tools is much, much easier. So one uh, struggle we were doing is uh, our software did not use uh, galactic uh, coordinates. So we had always to go convert them and then come back using them as equatorial coordinates and then convert them back. So uh, that was for the first project. Uh, the second one is we are studying uh, giant radio sources. Uh, we have about uh, 15, 15 sources for, for the time being, for the current study. And we are working uh, uh, on studying them by mapping them or getting a spectrum of each source. Uh, basically, GRSs are uh, defined as uh, extra galactic radio sources that are hosted by galaxies or quasars. So what we do is uh, using the Radio Universe Pro software, which is a compatible uh, software that comes with the telescope, we can uh, get a spectrum of the source of, of the radio waves. We can get a radio map of the source. We can also filter out whatever uh, signal that we do not uh, need. So uh, in the middle here, we have an observation, uh, a radio map of the sun at 1.4 gigahertz, which is so far the best or the highest resolution that we were able to get uh, for, for the sun at that time. Uh, basically, the observations take about six to eight hours, depending on uh, how uh, how high the source is in the sky and how good your resolution you want it to be uh, in your map. Uh, 
just like my other colleagues, we also join many other activities, congresses, uh, um, some uh, meetings, we give lectures also to students, uh, high school students or university students and many other activities. That was all for me. I'll pass it on now to uh, my colleague Fatma. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, hello everyone. My name is uh, Fatma Khatri. Uh, I hold a um, uh, bachelor degree, uh, degree in physics from uh, UAE University. And uh, currently I'm uh, studying uh, a master's degree in astronomy and space sciences uh, at uh, Sharjah University. Uh, and um, uh, currently I'm working as a scientific guide uh, in a planetarium at uh, SAST. Next slide. Uh, Sharjah Planetarium or uh, the planetarium here in the academy, uh, it is uh, the largest uh, planetarium in the GCC countries, um, 18 meter in diameter, uh, which can accommodate up uh, 200 uh, visitors, uh, also supported uh, by uh, advanced um, devices. Uh, the main device here in the planetarium is uh, the mega star. Uh, this one. Uh, it has the ability to project up 10 million stars. Um, and uh, if we want to talk about uh, the nature of uh, my work as a scientific guide here inside the, the planetarium, uh, first of all, educating the society in all its categories, um, uh, uh, whether it is all uh, general public, uh, um, schools and universities, students uh, and government uh, entity, entities. Also uh, here in the planetarium, uh, ta um, uh, taking the audience uh, on an uh, imaginary journey through space and time, uh, we can see or we can simulate uh, the sky of Sharjah at night uh, uh, and then uh, we can travel back in time uh, to see um, what our ancestors and early astronomers used to see every night. Uh, and then we travel to the outer space uh, by uh, using uh, a special programs uh, to simulate this uh, journey. Uh, for example, here in the planetarium, we can uh, use uh, uh, the Uniview program um, to simulate uh, the whole journey. Um, also, uh, uh, as a scientific guide, uh, uh, I should uh, be uh, continuously updated uh, about uh, events uh, um, and astronomical phenomena and the news that related uh, to space and astronomy. Next slide. And when it comes uh, to uh, space exhibition halls, uh, as you can see here in this uh, pictures, um, there are several uh, wonderful space exhibition. We have four stations and uh, each station explain a specific topic and more than uh, 60 uh, scientific exhibit here. So the, uh, the nature of my work here in the exhibition, uh, taking the audience uh, a tour in the exhibition, also explaining how each exhibit works and uh, the scientific idea behind each of them. Um, on the other hand, uh, next slide, Aisha. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we uh, offer scientific workshops and uh, camps related to uh, space and astronomy for schools and universities, uh, students, as well as uh, uh, government entities that are concerned uh, about the students. Uh, to, so the main aim of us uh, here in the planetarium to educate them, uh, shedding light on this field and attracting them to space and astronomy, uh, uh, astronomy and space sciences. This is a brief uh, summary of uh, the nature of my work as a scientific guide. And uh, from here, I would like uh, to thank uh, the Academy. And um, uh, I don't forget uh, to thank uh, the administrators and my colleagues uh, for continuously support. Thank you. That was it for today's talk. Uh, we hope you enjoyed uh, what we had to present for you. Uh, we hope we inspired some of you. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, we'd be happy to hear them.
Thank you very much uh, for the whole group. We appreciate uh, your contribution uh, from all the labs. I believe uh, all of us are, are a team uh, working together. Uh, this is a special, a special day today. Why? Because uh, uh, you give us a chance to hear from you or all, all what you are doing and you are all excellently uh, to the SAS research program and hopefully with you all together we can move forward to open more doors to this universe. Uh, so please, if any one of you has a comment, has a question, so please you are welcome. Any questions? I'm still among all the women. I don't know how to say that, so let me close my video. <laughs> yes, Victor, yes, we are proud. Oh, you are, oh, you are with yes. me, yeah? So good. Yes, thank you, I thank you, Had. Uh, thank yes, you, Had. So, I, cannot, I cannot open the, the camera Okay, now. so, okay, Marwan is we short. Are, so we I'm are just... really, really proud about what uh, our colleague, our sisters, they are doing. Really, it's uh, magnificent. And uh, and uh, we, we start with the, some ones uh, uh, like Aisha, when they came uh, to the you know, first time for planetarium, we was with them, with her, and with uh, another also. Uh, uh, Selma, she was with us in the planetarium. Really, uh, we are proud uh, uh, about what they are doing, and uh, we hope that. Uh, uh, their results in uh, in, their, in their studies, uh, we, we can uh, we can take some results in uh, uh, I don't know in our use it in our planetarium maybe uh, for uh, for the public uh, because uh, they are uh, doing a lot of things and inter interesting things uh, maybe for uh, for our public. I don't know what uh, Mr. Marwan uh, can say about that because. Uh, what they are doing is really uh, very beautiful, especially for the the cameras uh, in the uh, they detecting uh, a lot of meteorite because we are talking a lot of uh, the asteroid belt uh, and uh, you are detecting a lot of things from the asteroid belt and uh, in, in this case we can cooperate with you to 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 show our uh, uh, our uh, our public. Uh, about what you are doing really uh, in, in the academy. Yes, Mr. Marwan. Yes, it can be done. So uh, you can you can to showcase what you are doing as a result and so on. Yes, it can be done. Yes, we just need uh, just a little bit of coordination, I believe. Yes, because we are one team, I think, in the academy. We have to cooperate uh, together because what you are doing now uh, is still... Uh, still I don't say I don't want to say it's still for you, but we, we want to uh, take a benefit for us also, uh, yes. as in the planetarium. Okay, we, we can show the public uh, uh, the asteroid belt, for example. But if we show them what you are doing for the asteroid belt, the uh, the the main the main things what uh, you are capturing uh, from your cameras, it will be marvelous. Uh, they they will think they will. Uh, uh, not to stay with the uh, with the imagination because they will see something you get it from the asteroid belt, for example. Yes, uh, I believe the Meteor Center has tens of videos that you can yes. use for your presentations. Yes. Anything else, please? Morwan, you used to comment, so no comment today. Assalamu uh, alaikum. Wallahi, I, mean, uh, I prefer to, the ladies to, to be I mean, the first row today. today in, in the, but today's were all ladies. <laughs> That's fine. You can go ahead. Uh, they always taking the, the first. No problem. Yani Adi. Barakallah fikum. Shukran, shukran lakum. But she wahad da ulun kabil yo main bas can fi multaka kbir yani amustawa al arabi. وعشانك عم بحكي بالعربي يعني كمان إنه ب ب يعني تحت رعاية بروفيسور حميد ك يعني رئيس الاتحاد العربي للعلوم الفضاء والفلك في وكان لقاء كبير حقيقة 
وضم تقريبا معظم ان لم يكن جميع يعني معظم السيدات والانسات وفتيات التي يعملن او عملنا في مجال الفضاء والفلك وبالتالي كان اجتمعوا وتكلمت كل واحده يعني بحدود خمس دقائق لعشر دقائق عن يعني هير اكسبيرينس في الفلك والفضاء ونادوا عليكم كثير صراحه في اكاديميه الشارقه الصبايا انا شفت ثلاثه واربعه كانوا موجودات يعني اسمائهم بس بعدين ما اعطيكم مايك للاسف ما كان في حدا بس انا اتكلمت وال يعني وال 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 عنكم وي وعن وي جهودكم وعن كل ادائكم حتى ما ما يعني نغفل عن ذلك لكن ان شاء الله مره اخرى بتكونوا اكيد موجودين بشكل وي وي سيبوز مروان وي سيبوز تو اتند ذات ميتينغ ان جوردن بت نو وان سند اس ذا لينك اي ديد اسك بروفيسور حميد فرايدي تو سند ذا لينك هي كونتاكتد the people that, that didn't send us the link. Uh, so uh, we, because uh, this, this lecture was supposed to be a Saturday, but uh, no one has the link to participate. So we're waiting, 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 and no one. It, this it, is, uh, it was arranged only in one day, less than two Yeah, days. yeah, but, but at least we're, uh, we're very eager to yeah, yeah. I mean, ask us to participate. Uh, my team, Aisha, and everyone did prepare something, but no one gave us the link to participate. Yeah. It's like if, uh, it was badly organized. As usual, it is. Uh, I think organized in two days, less than two days. Uh, I yeah. received the link just like uh, anyone uh, who received it. Yeah. But the main thing was that there was a good meeting. We mentioned you, uh, ladies, uh, uh, and focused on your work in, in two or three minutes for, for all of you together. Yeah. But Alhamdulillah, yeah, it looked a good yeah, meeting, and we saw how ladies. Participate in developing astronomy and space sciences in the region, the Arab world. Yani, barakallah fiikum. Shukran. Shukran. Thank you very much, all. So we appreciate your participation as a whole. Thank you, Aisha. Thank you, Tarifa. Thank you, Maryam. Thank you, Nora. Thank you, Selma. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you. Uh, who I am missing? What I am missing? Uh, Maryam, uh, Maryam Isa, Maryam uh, Qasimi. I am missing someone. Uh, we should not also forget uh, our uh, the staff. other staff, yes. <laughs> our staff, we should not uh, staff, uh, Thoria, uh, I believe uh, the administration, Khadija, uh, Moza. Uh, if you yeah. uh, help me with the names, I do not, uh, don't remember. Uh, all of them. The names. Uh, all of them. Um, all of Maryam, Sheikha, Sousan, Alia. Jawahir, uh, my colleague, and everyone. Yes, and he, yes all of we them. We cannot yes. do anything we, without their support. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. We thank them all for mm -hmm. their contribution to the uh, Sharjah Academy. Uh, again, thank you very much for this uh, wonderful uh, session today. It is recorded, so it is uh, on, the, on YouTube. Uh, so we're going to promote it as much as we can with uh, Rama and so on. Thank you very much all. So thank you, Aisha, and for your team for uh, coordinating everything. Uh, with all the uh, with all your colleagues inshallah thank you very much we appreciate that shukran the support it support bardo ladies today yani yes yes also <laughs> fatima yes the id support fatima supporting fatima, today yani yes 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 rama wal amn command security wal maliya shukran lakum jamian we need to have a special uh, lunch for the women here <laughs> but we, we have we, to cook we need to cook, to cook it we need to no, cook no. it for them. <laughs> no, no, they have to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Today only. Okay. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Shukran. Wa alaikum. 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 Wa al